Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Well, for years, the UFC's welterweight division has been among the promotion's strongest, and that is certainly the case here as we get our look at the undisputed UFC welterweight champion as he gets ready to defend the title. The welterweight champion of the world. Star. The guy is one of the best pound pound fighters in the world, and he carries himself in that manner. You can watch this guy from his approach to the media, to his appearances. He does everything right. He's the champ for a reason. It all boils down to who he is and how he approaches everything from the media to the fight camp. And as commentators, we like heat, we like friction. We definitely have some of that on our welterweight championship matchup here tonight. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. So Herb Dean, third man Great in there fight. for this one. Great. All right, so here we go from Team on Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world, most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM brand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world and the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. From International Fight Week to Championship Fight all across the board, become the team over. Oh, big punch land. All right, so there it is from the kickboxer. He told us he was going to go to that front kick early, and he did not miss with that one, DC. He didn't miss. He went to the front kick, expect him to keep going here, because this is not only damaging, but it keeps him at the range at which that he wants to fight. Sidekick. Nice little time kick to the body for the champion. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big power shot there. Pace early on to this one. Beautiful jab lands. Unable to connect with a right hook. Big head kick. Down defense is there. Nice leg kick. Midway through round one. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Flips. Straight punch there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Do some work, guys. Throwing that jab, no good. All 
All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Well placed kick there by Lee. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of outfit and pace. When his opponent has done that too, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Nice crack there. And that one certainly found the target. Collar tie here in the clinch. And now some separation. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice kick landed there by Oliveira. Nice shot there by the champ. Less than a minute to go now in our opening round. You can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Cowboy Oliveira. Straight punch is good. All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're gonna limp. It, it's, it's natural. You gotta check these kicks right now, or that's gonna happen. 20 seconds left. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Oliveira. Oh. Big moments on both sides in round one. All right, so the round is over. Certainly stunned his opponent in that round. We'll see if he can follow up here after 60 seconds. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of finding a shot that really did affect the equilibrium of his opponent. Now he needs to go back and find the attack that's going to shut the lights off. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful Ready. that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, here we go with round two. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, big head kick there. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Nice body kick. Trademark inside leg kick there by Oliveira. It got checked. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oliveira gets caught by the straight punch. Slips the punch. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Back and forth we go. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. 
Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Leg kick. Oh, straight left counter. That'll work. Well, one got through. That kick was good. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Under two minutes to go. That's a good series of kicks here. Well, no problem getting inside to win that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, High-level stuff here with the ground and pound by Oliver. Oh, he got to his spot. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oliveira gets back up. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Lee's now dealing with a cheap cut. Eats a jab there. Under a minute now to go in the round. Let's go, let's go. We got one minute left. Oh, round. big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. All right, there it is. Another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top of that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. Oh, sidekick, well timed there. 20 seconds to go. Oh, how clean is that jab by Oliveira? Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter. But he has never looked this good. And that is, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Ready. Ready. Go. Here we go. Third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. So no damage inflicted there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, nice jab to the head by Lee. Oliveira 
going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Now lands the low kick. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. The takedown is not there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Look at the turtle in that kick. Olivera's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps they're on the bridge. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. He missed with that jab attempt there. Lands to the body. Once you get take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know. Back to his feet. One minute now to go in the third. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's has to try to find that shot again. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Duffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh. That's three rounds. Oh. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut may will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes now, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything in 10 minutes. That was a big check. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Beautiful job landing that hit. He 
does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, a huge block there. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Beautiful combination there. Oliveira shot is blocked. So we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taking a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling's starting now, and it's life. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change it. Oh, you heard it bad. Oliveira's no. This one could be over soon. Now he's back up. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Oh, hammer fists and bunches here by Lee. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Right hook to the head blocked. Oliveira's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Big shots being landed on both sides here. While the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axis. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. Nice job defensively. Under a minute to go in round four. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, beautiful work with the knee. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Nice straight right, Lance. Under 20 seconds now to go. remaining in round four. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. 
fifth and final round. Oh, gorgeous switch kick by him there. Clearly, he has practiced that move and was able to execute on fight. He can do that and not really tell you where that kick is going. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Checks that leg kick. Olivera's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Just misses with that one. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. Oh, both. Both landed. He's hurt now. Nice job there by Lee. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this match. All right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. Doctor talking to the referee right now, and all right, it looks as though the fight's going to continue. Fans will appreciate that decision at least for now. They will. It's been a fun fight to this point. Let's Great see fight. how he deals with Ready. this bad cut. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on the shield, and that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance, and as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they will still. They start blue, and sometimes guy's eye is hanging off the side of his head. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Lee's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make it fight you. Oh, his foot's all messed up. Leg kick lands. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Side kick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Another kick to the leg now lands. Beautiful work as usual on the feet by Lee. Under two minutes now with which to work. It's work. Just missed with the left there. Lee's shot is blocked. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the coach. All right, so I don't have to tell the viewers the bruising on that thigh is getting more problematic by the minute. He just hasn't had any answer for that weapon. Tonight. He hasn't had any answers. I mean, he hasn't done anything to try and deter his opponent from throwing leg kicks. He has not countered. He has not checked. He has not done anything to make him think twice about throwing his kick, and that is why he finds himself in this situation. Body kick is there. Olivera's cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that one. Oh! That's it! And capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.